Hello everyone, it's lovely to be with you again today. Do you wish you were a grown up? Are there lots of things you'd like to do when you grow up? Drive a car? Pilot a plane? When you were grown up, would you remember what it was like to be a child? Will you remember how you feel today? Let's hear about one boy's memories. He was a child about your age. The Bible doesn't tell us what he was called, so we have called him Janai. Let's open the book and read Be Like Me. I can remember that day so clearly, that day when I felt so special, so important. I was only a young boy, no more than nine or ten. I was busy as usual helping my mother and the other women. It was my job to collect the wood for the fire. I can smell the smoke even now. Mum was busy kneading some dough when I heard an argument in the road. Some of Jesus' friends were squabbling as they walked past me. It was difficult to hear exactly what they were saying, but they seemed to be arguing over which one of them was more important than the others. Then Jesus went over and broke up the argument. Once everything had calmed down, I heard my name being called, Janai, come over here. I looked up in surprise. It was Jesus' voice. He was resting by the roadside and all the men were standing around him. He looked straight at me and called again, Janai, come here, come here to me. I glanced at Mum. I wasn't sure what to do. She nodded her head towards Jesus and said, Go on then, it's okay. I put down the wood and wiping my hands on my shirt, I walked over to Jesus and his friends. Jesus welcomed me with a smile and turned me around to face the men. I looked up at them wondering what he would say. My friends, he said, if you want to get into the kingdom of heaven, you need to be like Janai. You need to become just like a little child. Don't waste time arguing about who is more important. Instead, learn from the children. Be willing to be humble. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Jesus was telling these big men, these special friends of his, that they should be like me. In fact, said Jesus quite firmly, I'll go even further. Children are so important that you must cherish them. You must never do or say anything that might make them lose their faith in me. Their love for me is very precious. Encourage it, nurture it, protect it. God is very unhappy with anyone who spoils children's love for their father in heaven. I was surprised to hear all this. I was only a boy who did little jobs. I only did what I was told. These men did important things like teaching people about God and healing people. They could even stay up all night talking to Jesus. I had to go to bed when my mum told me to. Jesus hugged me and whispered, never forget, you're important to God. I went back to the fire and picked up the wood. Then I sat down and thought about what Jesus had said. Wow, grown-ups have to be like children, like me. Jano was just an ordinary little boy, busy helping his mum when Jesus called him over. Can you imagine how surprised he was to hear what Jesus had to say? Jesus used Janai as an example to teach his friends that children like you are very important. Now, close your eyes and imagine how special Janai felt when Jesus spoke directly to him in front of all his grown-up friends and told him how important he was to God. Now, I'm going to say a prayer, and if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end. 
Dear God, thank you that children are important to you. Thank you that we are special to you. Please don't let us forget how much you love us. Amen. Thank you for listening today and see you soon. Goodbye.